Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about when to simulate an enemy force and when not to. So, in this particular scenario, we're going to pretend these NATO units are players. Now, since there are a large amount of players here, and in most cases you would want to simulate most of your enemy fighting when they're not near players, but for the sake of this, um, there's a large amount of players which already creates a lot of strain on the server, right? So first, we're going to go ahead and we are going to spawn some enemy units for these guys to engage. We will send them into combat and let things happen the way they happen. Now, these guys are going to fight it out, these players and AI, and that's fine. Everything's going great, right? But your story has, say, this green faction, in this case, uh, 3CB Napa is a friendly force that's securing the northeastern part of this town. So instead of having instead of having them attack, you know, and get in a firefight here and then therefore increasing stress on the server, now what you would want to do is come in here, go to markers, and then simulate it this way. So you could just put you can either use unknown or infantry, however you want to do it. You could put markers down, and then, uh, where is independent? There it is. Go like that. And then what you could do is put timestamps on these, and you could even draw on the map if you like, um, to basically simulate the battle. So that way it's not putting undue stress on the server. Uh, the more AI that you have going, the more fighting you have going and all that, it's just unnecessary performance degradation for both the players and the server itself. So I'm going to put some timestamps on here to show you an example, and I will also draw on the map to show you as an example. So as you can see there, there's some more information that the players can then base their combat situation on without having to have a bunch of stress on the server, right? So if that makes sense, let me know down in the comments. And if it doesn't, let me know down in the comments. But this is going to prevent undue stress on your server and your player clients. So it's better to simulate uh, further or even across map uh, combat scenarios instead of actually making units fight there. Now, of course, if you if your uh, your players will eventually get there, then of course you can place like corpses and destroyed vehicles and all that fun stuff. But if not, then there's really no reason to simulate it. That There's just none. So keep that in mind when creating missions, both for the unit that I'm in, and of course creating uh, missions for the unit or group of friends that you're making missions with. There's not always uh, a purpose to have enemy units fighting across the map and stuff when it's not necessary, especially since we all know Arma does not run the greatest. So if this video helped you out, let me know. If not, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.